Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier and today I'm going to teach you how to play Board by Jeff Burnett. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, it's a beautiful song, I listened to it and the guitar playing on it is really, really nice. So I thought I'd do a video for you. Just before I teach you it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier. If you could give me a like on the video and also leave me some comments in the comment section, including any songs you want to do. Okay, so, really beautiful little song. Um, we've got an intro, we've got a verse which is sort of two lines long uh, we've got a chorus and it's basically a repeat of that so the intro sounds like this so we're going to start off um, I'm using my thumb over the top and playing the E string at the fifth fret. And this is an A major seven, and then I've got my first finger on E string nearest the floor on fret four, second finger on fret five on the B string, third finger on G six, little finger on D seven. So it's like a diagonal line, and thumb over the top. If you struggle to do that, I suppose you could use your first finger on the top string and then bar it down as a diagonal line, but that makes it a bit harder. So I use my thumb over the top. Okay, so we've got that. And then we're gonna play this chord, it's a uh, sort of bass round an F sharp seven chord. And we're gonna play our second finger. I, I struggled to work this out, I don't know exactly how he played it, but uh, second finger A9, then first finger on D8, little finger, so then gonna hit the D11, and then I move my first finger down to and I play the E and the G strings at the ninth fret. So it goes. So the first and second bars are. And then I go to my thumb again over the top on the seventh fret. Or you could bar this one, doesn't make any difference really. Uh, and then holding down the E, B and G strings at the seventh fret. And hammer on quickly onto the ninth fret. So. I'm using my little finger, could you use the third finger? And then this last little bit, it's like a B diminished over E, uh, you're playing second finger uh, on E12, then D12, first finger flat across the E and the B strings, you're gonna play the, um, sorry, the E and the, the B and the G strings, you're gonna play the 10th fret on the G string, and then the B string, and hammer on straight away onto your little finger onto the 12th fret on the B string so you get so that's the fourth bar so the first four bars go and the next three bars are the same as the first three bars Then the last bar, slight change. It starts the same, but then you play B15, B14, and B12. So you got. So let's try the whole line nice and slowly. Ready? And. Okay, so that's the kind of groove and the feel of, of the rest of the song as well. Uh, for the rest of the song, I've literally just written out the chords, um, and then you can sort of do that same kind of like bass note and then the rest of the chord through the rest of the song. Okay, so the verse sounds like this. So we've got A major 7, same as we played at the beginning, and then we've got F sharp 7, which is your first finger barred from A9 downwards, and you put your third finger on D11, little finger on B11, then B minor 9, which is first finger barred uh, from the D string downwards, little finger on E9 and thumb over the top on the uh, E7. 
go to that B uh, diminished slash E chord. It's like what we played in the intro. Uh, second finger E12. Uh, third finger G12. Uh, D12. First finger G10. Little finger on B12. Then back to A major 7. F sharp 7. B minor 9. And the last bar of that line does that B diminished and then you've got to go down to the 10th fret. I tend to bar my first finger uh, on the 10th fret to get that note in. So let's try the whole of the first line of the verse. Ready? Um. And then it goes into the next line. Starts off with C sharp minor seven, which is your second finger on the ninth fret of the E string, third finger across D, G, and B strings at the ninth fret. Then to F sharp seven, B minor nine, B diminished over E, over D, and then it goes back to C sharp minor seven, F sharp seven. And then does a little run up, goes B minor nine, C sharp minor seven, then move that up one fret to D minor seven, and then does the B diminished slash E. So let's try the whole of that uh, second line of the verse. Ready? And. And then we go to the chorus, which are basically the same chords, there's a slight little variation in the middle of it. It goes A major 7 to F sharp 7, B minor 9, B diminished over E, A major 7, F sharp 7, B minor 7, uh, minor 9, B over diminished, uh, B diminished over E, can't say them, I can play them. Uh, on to the next line, it goes A major 7, F sharp 7. B minor 9, B diminished over E, over D, then C sharp minor 7, F sharp 7, B minor 9, B diminished over E, and then it goes back to the intro of the song. So let's try the whole of the chorus. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so let's try and put it all together. Um, it's quite nice to arpeggio, especially arpeggiate, especially that last chord when it goes to the, the uh, B diminished over E. Just play each note individually, or just play the root and then the chord. Okay, so let's try putting it all together. So you've got intro, verse. There's two lines of the verse, which probably should be a verse and a bridge. Uh, and then you've got two lines of the chorus, and then the song just literally repeats all of that. We'll play it once through. Here we go. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, six.
and then it just repeats. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed that one. It's a really lovely little song. Now, whoever played the guitar on it is uh, pretty awesome. Well, if you have enjoyed it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, if you could give me a like and also leave me some comments, that really helps me out. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time.